cat. A cat? A cat? <laughs> what are they about to start? Is this a musical? <laughs> a cat, you say? A cat? What a cat. What a weird <laughs> thing to see on a day like that. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Booking Gaming. Oh, hi. I'm Travis. And I'm Eric. And then we're back with some more fruits. We are. Because we love it. We do love it. It's, this is the Otaku the Tuesday, which we don't get a lot of taco. I guess we will now with this game. We just didn't get a lot of him. Well, no, not during Corpse Party. I guess. I guess. Yeah, that'd be a little weird. He was there a little bit party. during the, the weird bath flashback. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, the fucking stupid anime trope of, mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm going to bathe with my sister. And, and there's sexual tension for some reason. Yeah, there always is. Yeah, of course. Anytime I've ba bathed with my sister, that doesn't exist. I only have two brothers. Yeah, so. you never wrestled with them on the ground. With, in the bath, at least. No, God, no. I, I mean, I'm sure we were bathed together when we were, like, really little, because me and my oh, younger yeah. brother are, like, a year apart. Yeah. But it was never like, hey, let me bathe you. Like, my older brother was never like, I'll give you a bath. Uh-huh. Fucking like, weird. Let me scrub your back. Yeah. Ugh. Get out of here. I'm pooping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I have pooped in the bath <laughs> when really? I was a youngin'. Did you? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure a lot of babies have. <laughs> yeah. It probably happens a lot. I don't, yeah. I don't remember any stories of me doing it. I know my son didn't, that I remember. I don't know. <laughs> when you've got a baby, there's poop everywhere. You don't really... That's true. <laughs> just, your life is poop. <laughs> my life is still poop. <laughs> uh, so what happened last I time? I don't know. We kissed a girl, and she and liked, liked it. it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, so she's got she's got the, the two people inside her, it seems yes, like, or she's, something. She's, she's got two wolves inside of her, and just, both of them want to have sex with Yuji. Right. Um, no, so you kissed her, all the girls are like, you should, uh, you know, actually, like, talk to her and do something about it. So you went to her room, she wanted some schnuggles. That's right. Um, she was all cute and bundled up. Yeah, so you're like, you're the only one that knows that she's got two demons yeah that's, there's two of her <laughs> but uh and, like the other one is like way smarter than him and like always has like yeah yeah i, I don't know it's weird i just i just couldn't that's, remember exactly. that's pretty much it yeah you kissed her all the girls want you to do something about it take responsibility that's what it is yeah that, that another anime trope of take responsibility yeah it's well like, i mean he did kiss her and then like just like okay fuck whatever <laughs> yeah well he was just fucking with her he was testing he was testing the the other one or whatever because the other one's yeah, hot trying to make the other one come out yeah okay all right let me get so it. i says to you G. yeah <laughs> so i says to you G. I says next time you barge into my room like that i'll twist your tiptoes till you toot all right that sounded like it should have been said in a southern <laughs> accent <laughs> i'll twist your tiptoes to your teeth mm -hmm. oh that's pure chiru chiru. I gotta hell you are. Oh god, cat. Oh, cat on the keyboard. Oh god. Oh, dangerous. Okay, we're fine. It's my favorite musical. I know, right? I'm not a sooner for show, you know. Oh, what? <laughs> when the time comes, I take care of business. I sooner with the best of them. What kind of business exactly? Oh, what? Yuji? Yuri? Yuri there? Say something next time. Don't just look around. Why are you here hiding behind that bush? I'm taking horticulture. It's a big broccoli. Since that day, Michiru seems to have gotten back into her normal rhythm, even cracking jokes at my expense and showing thighs and making me go crazy. Hell yeah. Everything isn't quite back the way it was before, but she seems to have gradually regained her balance. Amine's here too for some reason. There it is. Better watch out. <laughs> Better not cry. <laughs> Yuji, or something weird might happen to the tips of your toes. I'm gonna suck them. You're gonna suck them? Twisted toes, that's nothing. That's my favorite <laughs> fucking alcohol. Twisted Mike's toes. Twisted toes. <laughs> <laughs> Heard a story once about a journalist who got abducted by a terrorist group. That's really cool and all. Wow, that's totally what we're talking about. They broke out the pliers and... Who's playing the organ? Such I don't know, they marked their own herm though. <laughs> yeah. Herm! We've been Herman a lot, by the way. Yeah, My I, God. Saw, I saw that like, you had already missed one, too. I did. We're up at, like, near 40 already. That's insane. That's ridiculous. That's a lot of Herman. 
All right then. Guess that's enough of that story. I swear, you throw out these cruel stories at the most random times. What are you, Cruelty Colossus Cruel 3? Freaking, you got him. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I saw that one. What? Seriously? Cruel exists? Yeah, he's the bad guy of Donkey Kong. Looks like I gotta call my lawyer. Huh? Doesn't he? I'm a knee. That one totally exists, right? Hmm. Maybe I just dreamed it. Is there an echo? Am I hearing an echo? Yeah, I don't know. Something's gotta... There's, it's gotta turn something down. The cat ruined it. Yeah. No, I think it was already... Okay. It, it might just be hearing things because it's very quiet in this room right now. Uh, can't say I know either way. What? Come on! My dreams have been operating without proper oversight. I expected better from you. Why do I have to oversee your dreams on top of everything else? Uh, Inception's not real. Also, I have no idea how that would even work. Well, I'm sure Sachin will do it for me. Sachin! Sachin! She probably would. She'd find a way. Sheesh. All right, then. I'm going to take a little shopping trip and disappear for a while so Travis can breathe. Are you going to buy a new belt? <laughs> no. Damn. Okay, I mean, that's fine. We're alone now. Doesn't seem to be anyone around. What do you want? Nothing in particular. Sachi? I don't know. Herm! <laughs> boop, boop. Michiru, stay here. I just couldn't do that anyway. It's not like I want to stay here. Huh? What? <laughs> what is this? Quesito. The details are unclear. It's queso. <laughs> Keep quiet and stand by at your present location. Don't make me repeat myself again. What? Say that again? I wasn't listening. Yeah. Good girl. Pat pat. Don't say that. It'll come. <laughs> the scream from outside <laughs> sounded like, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't prepared. Oh God. Smorgasbord. Hope it's nothing serious, but. Sprigatito, where are you? Respond. What is that? Is that a Pokemon? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're uh, you, Miko, uh, aren't you? Yeah. Damn it. Where is she? S sniff. <laughs> sniff. <laughs> sniff. Ha, ha. It's too warm out to wear a sweater. <laughs> what is it? What happened? Timmy fell down the well. It fell. It fell? What fell? Me for you. <laughs> I got him. All of a sudden, out of the sky. Calm down, Chicken Little. Out of the sky? A cat. A cat. A cat? <laughs> what are they about to start? Is this a musical? <laughs> a cat, you say? A cat? What a cat. What a weird <laughs> thing to see on a day like that. <laughs> <laughs> I was slightly, well. I follow Sylvester Stallone's gaze to find a familiar black cat bounding lightly away into a nearby hedge. Must have been wandering around this area looking for Michiru. Herm! Jesus. That's Michiru's cat, ain't it? What? You are familiar with this cat? Don't tell me this surprise was deliberate. No, you're misunderstanding. That happens a lot around me. This was almost certainly pure coincidence. Maybe I should stop talking in weird coded phrases. You most likely happened to pass by just as it was jumping down from a high place nearby. I doubt the cat did it out of malice, either. I see. Well, that's fine. I must say, though, that was a bit of a shock. Okay, hey, what seems to be the problem here? What can I do? I told you to stay. Huh? What? I thought I ordered you to stay at your post, maggot. Why did you disobey me? I couldn't find the post, maggot. I don't know what that is, so I didn't know where to stay. <laughs> don't make me get the belt again. <laughs> Am I lagging? Isn't that obvious? I'm not your henchman or your servant. I don't have to follow your orders if I don't want to. True enough, but you can't deny there was a possibility of real danger. That's why I told you to stay where you were. I really hope you can figure that much out for yourself. Sh shut up, you! I mean, yeah, it's true, I guess. I don't know why there would be danger. We're just a skew. <laughs> but, uh, well, shut up! Anyway, what's the problem? A cat suddenly fell from the sky. Oh my god! 
I always knew that phrase was true. A cat from the sky? A sky cat? What is this, an anime or something? Oh. Mm, I'm gonna give you a little bit of the double herb herb. I <laughs> think. It's throwing out two. Hmm, okay. Yumiko, I put my cinder brain to work on this problem and have arrived at a plausible theory. You're a witch. It's just a theory, so don't get upset. No, she's the witch. Long, right? <laughs> okay, perhaps that wasn't a cat. Maybe it was just the rain? Is she gonna steal my rain cats and dogs joke? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, yes, indeed. You wouldn't mistake raindrops for a cat, would you? And so the raindrops falling on my head, not a cat on a hot tin roof. <laughs> I mean, a cat! It's a cat, right? No way you could confuse those. In the first place, it seems the cat in question belongs to you, Matsushima-san. Is that true? Absolutely not! I don't even have a cat for your information! Anyway, uh, where did Kitty Mitten? I mean, that hole in, hole in the ground go? Hole in the ground. Matsushima-san, you can tell the difference between a cat and the rain, but not a between a cat and a pothole. Is this like a riddle? I'm not good at those. <laughs> what? Of course I knew that. Cats and holes are totally different, right? Um, I mean... You can get them both in Nekopara. They're both... They're both unlucky. <laughs> I mean, what are you even talking about? Seriously. There are so many things I don't understand right now. Me too! <laughs> Meow. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? There's a hole on my head. <laughs> Rain cats keep falling on my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really does look like a comfortable perch, doesn't it? You say I got a big head? So that cat was your oh so that cat was your pet after all Matsushima Shima Shima san Th That cat? What do you mean? Which cat? This is just a hair bow. That cat. That cat you wear as a hat. <laughs> the one currently sitting on top of your head for all to see. That cat. The comfortably perched one. What? Well, just for the sake of argument, let's say it is. What about it? For one thing, we're not allowed to keep pets at this school. In that case, you're wrong! Yeah, Makina has a crawfish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In that case... Yumiko, what you're saying is nothing more than a... Oh, right, I, I, I'm too dumb to come up with a different name. We that don't is, have a different name for Yumiko. That's true, it's, yeah, it's all these, <laughs> there's Sakaki. What you're saying is nothing more than an illusion! There's no such thing as cats. Ooh. This conversation is ignorant. I'm out of here. <laughs> it worked. I, <laughs> I think we convinced her. I'm fairly sure cats do exist, actually. Yeah, so no, they don't! Only dogs exist in this world. In an apparent attempt to protect her cat, Michiru begins to lay out a rather radical new theory. She's probably thinking... Sandwich might talk to the administration and get the animal taken away from her. Well, that'd be a bitch move. I, I see. All right, then. Let's say for the sake of argument that this is not a cat. In that case, what's currently sitting on top of your head? It's a bird poop. All I can say right now is it's all an illusion. Therefore, there's nothing on top of my head. <laughs> she backs away with, like, sparkly hands. Yeah, I was going to say, like, her hands are, like, just, she's just making circles with her hands. <laughs> sleeping you're simply hallucinating i slipped you a bunch of mushrooms there's nothing to see <laughs> nothing to hear meow they farted it just meowed you know no it didn't no 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 meow meow it just meowed again twice in fact uh yeah okay maybe it did in that case, it's a curse, right? A cat curse was cast on my cranium. Because of the curse, it looks like there's a cat on my head. Uh, In this world where cats do not exist? <laughs> all of a sudden, my head feels so heavy. The curse's power is amazing. And it's purring. The curse, I mean. Okay, then. Think I have to be going, so... She just declared that cats don't exist, and now she's insisting on a cat curse. The word inconsistent itself is rendered meaningless in the face of this girl's irrationality. Michiru, my friend, if you're going to keep a pet cat, then at least try to be stealthy about it. I told you, I'm not keeping a cat. It's just a curse. Very common these days. Happens a lot. I'm actually a magical girl. Meow. That would make sense. Ugh. Din-din. Is it din-din time? 
Meow. Hold on just a second, will you? Jeez, oh my god. You can understand it? Gotta feed you now? <laughs> that, oh, that girl really does whatever she wants. Tell me, Kazumi-kun, has Machusima-san suffered any strong impacts to the head lately? I think a cat hit Mostly it. by a cat. Yeah. Haven't heard anything of the sort. I see. In that case, I do believe I'll have to treat her with a little more sympathy from now on. She's caught the stupid. <laughs> no, a good deal more. Did I get sent to the special school and not realize it? <laughs> yep. It's a festival. And so, Michiru more or less back to her old energetic self. If anything, I think her incomprehensibility factor may even have increased slightly. Oh, why would you buff those stats on that <laughs> Plus three. I do understand the girl's forcing out a show of cheerfulness to mask the continued instability of her emotions. And more simply, she's excited by her new pet. I don't know what it is, though. Because it doesn't exist. That said, no matter what the circumstances may be, this illusion and cat curse strategy strikes me as more than a little wince-worthy. Hashtag cringe. <laughs> I was going to say that to fucking cringe. <laughs> Even by Michiru's standards. Guess I'll see if Cheesy Roo can get me the standard cat vaccines. There's no telling what sort of viruses or infections a stray might have picked up. We're not supposed to have cats here. I was Let me go say, tell the principal. I'm going to talk to the principal. I need a cat vaccine. Uh, why? Um... For porn, my dog. Porn. Wait. <laughs> in some cases, feline intestinal worms can infect human beings. Michiru's stomach is weak at the best of times, so a little caution seems warranted. Are you telling me I shouldn't eat the cat poop? What am I supposed to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> Have to be careful about being too nice, though. Don't need a certain capricious creature getting emotionally attached to me. And by that, I mean, I mean Michiru. Michiru. <laughs> 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 There's only one truth, but the same facts will inevitably be interpreted in wildly different ways depending on the viewpoint of the observer. The winner writes the history books, and they always come out looking pretty good. If you're searching for the absolute truth, you've got no choice but to wade through various ac accounts, accents, like we do, with a critical <laughs> eye painstakingly piercing together a more neutral perspective. Yeah, do your own research. Google it and just take <laughs> the AI answer. But even then, cleverly distorted information can often throw your puzzle into a confused jumble. So how about this? Instead of sifting through everything you can find, dramatically restrict your sources of information. Ignore the third parties entirely and talk only to those who were directly involved. Yeah, exactly. Just go to Fox News. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are we talking about right now? Who are we talking it's to? It's one of his stupid non sequiturs. That's going to make sense in the next 10 minutes, but not really. Yeah. It not, it's not really going to matter. In most cases, that's simply not practical. But every once in a great while, it's an effective stratagem. Coming in. I'm naked. I know. Oh, I'm naked. Oh, if it isn't kazumi -kun. What's up? Need something? Or maybe you just wanted to see my face and kiss a little bit? No, I see your face in my dreams every night. I know, I'm inceptioning you. A real it's nice, real! A real nice expression on it, too, if you know what I mean. What the fuck, man? I, I, I don't. Do I even want to know? What the heck? Jeez. What, what does that Higo mean? <laughs> okay, enough joking around. Sorry to barge in like this. One of these times you're gonna... One of these times I'm gonna be naked and... Uh, oh no, that'd be the worst. <laughs> you're gonna hate it. <laughs> I've got growths. But Those are your boots. Two, two on the front. <laughs> <laughs> but there was actually something I was hoping you could get for me. That's a joke? All right, then explain the nature of your problem. Were you assigned some job where you provisioned equipment where the provisioned equipment might prove insufficient? I do my job with the tools I'm given. Talking about my penis. This concerns my private life. <laughs> it's a bit of a surprise to hear you even talking about a private life. I'd like you to get me a dose of combination vaccine for a cat. And some flea medication while you're at it. A cat? I thought I'd noticed a stray hanging around the campus lately. Is that your pet, Kazumi-kun? I'm on a leash myself, sometimes. <laughs> Why would I do the same to an animal? <laughs> Who leashes a cat? <laughs> <laughs> huh, maybe you can stick a homing device in its collar and play hide-and-go-seek. How old do you think I am? Anyway, I want to give that cat one of those three-in-one shots at the very least. And for safety's sake, can you get it tested for the common diseases? I'll get a blood sample for you. 
Oh, hold on a second. Who's gonna be paying for this? I'm afraid our budget isn't quite that flexible. I spent all of our cat vaccine money. Bikini car wash. On the gym. Yeah! True enough, I guess. But, since it's you asking as a personal favor, I'll get you a 5-in-1 combination vaccine myself. I'm gonna pee in it. Please take care of the rest and a private. Wait, please take care of the rest and a private veterinarian. Unlike you, I'm not a professional jack of all trades. Remember? You're still a help. Appreciate it. All right then, I'll see you in my dreams. As I turn to leave, Cheesy grabs my arm to detain me. Where the fuck do you think you're? <laughs> you better nut up or shut up. <laughs> Hold on, just one second here. Did you really go out of your way to come here just for that? Isn't there something else you wanted to ask? Like, do you want some fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um, leaning back in her chair, Cheesy Roo pushes her glasses up her nose with the tip of a finger. We may not have spent that much time together, but we've known each other long enough. The woman can see right through me at times. <laughs> well, it's not like I need to hide it. I suppose it's about Michiru. The cat belongs to her, by the way. You're a snitch. Matsushima-san, eh? I thought it might have, something, might have been something like that. Well, what have you learned about her so far, Kazumi-gun? I've learned that she's an extremely moody woman, although she sleeps in a room saturated with the sugary smell of cheap artificially colored candies. Uh, hold on a second, Kazumi-kun. Please tell me you weren't up to any funny business in her room. Nothing to worry about. I put a, I paid a brief visit because I had something to discuss with her. That's all. It was only snuggling. <laughs> well, that's fine then. But do refrain from potentially problematic actions. You want a normal school life, right? People in, in school don't have sex. I mean, I didn't. Anyway, I'm willing to tell you what I know about Matsushima, Sean, within, re Sean within reason. If you're interested in knowing, of course. Mm -hmm. She loves getting kisses on the back of her knee. Oh, how do you know this? I don't know. After all it's this, just in her file. <laughs> after all this wandering around, following a trail of breadcrumbs, an unexpected bluebird arrives on the scene. Does Cheesy Roo have the answers I've been looking for? I doubt it. Honestly, I'd be grateful. That said, you can't exactly email me your records, I assume. Naturally, I don't particularly like the phrase "just between you and me," but I do like the song, <laughs> and I do trust you, Kazumi Kun. All right then, let me ask you something. Does Michiru? Come on, kitty meow, wait up! You've got a dumpling stuck to your back. I'll get it. Mmm, delicious cat dumpling. Rawr, rawr. Oh no, that was more poop. I'll take it <laughs> off you. So stop. Seems like quite the energetic cat. Anyway, you were saying. But for some reason, I don't feel like asking Cheesyru the question anymore. If anyone's going to tell me Michiru's story, it should be Michiru herself. Sorry, don't think I need an explanation after all. Shouldn't be necessary, really. If Michiru needs my help in some way, I assume she'll come to me herself. Yeah, she's an open book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's so? Decided to remain a spectator then? Well, if that's what you want, it's fine by me. I'll just blackmail you some other way. Or extort. I Sorry guess. to waste your time. That's okay, you do it all the time. By asking Cheesy Roo, I probably could have obtained a decent amount of new information. When I remember Michiru quivering under her blanket, I think I made the right choice just now. Yeah, I can't wait to get more of that. I can't help but feel that learning about Michiru's background without her knowledge would be a betrayal of sorts. Whoa! Re he showed restraint. <gasps> we, need, we need to just bang the principal once and get it over with. Right? Where's that? There's some weird sexual energy between them. Yeah. A few days later, after loading the vaccine Cheesy Roo got me into a syringe, I decide to inoculate Michiru's mangy little cat. Problem being, the animal in question seems to despise me. Well, you are trying to stab it. Yeah. Maybe it's picking up on the lingering scent of blood? Instinctive hostility against a fellow predator? Either way, it's a problem. Making a dog behave itself is comparatively easy. They're generally not used to heights. So plop it down on an elevated operating table, and it'll be too busy quaking with fear to thrash around. That is not true. I've had dogs at veterinarians go fucking nuts. But cats outright enjoy sharply differentiated terrain. Subduing a feline requires different methods. If you cover their eyes and hold them steady, they'll generally steady settle down. Same goes for most animals, really. Giraffes. <laughs> That said, there's no point in the water. covering the animal's <laughs> head in a paper sack and suffocating it. 
Which leaves me with the most fundamental strategy of all. Pure physical restraint. God, if only it was a five-pound cat. <laughs> Who rested on top of Michiru's head a lot. Yeah. Hmm. It's time for a pafe cook. Whoa! Huh? What's that noise? Just me getting a pafe. What the? Well, hell no, I don't want no pafe. <laughs> Flash. Everybody likes pafe. Pafes are delicious. Flash. Me. Ah, oh, your penis. S S Thunder? Oh, hey, Yuji, what's up? <laughs> what? What? Oh, that the, their code word to let the, each other know that they're... It's like what soldiers do. Oh, okay. Ah, so it's Amine. I see. Good timing, actually. Tell me, do you have a laundry net? Uh, the ones you use for washing underwear or whatever? Yeah, I've got one. You want to borrow it? Your, if, your underwear? <laughs> if you've got laundry, I could just do it for you. I promise I won't sniff them. <laughs> Damn it. I already did that. No, I'll be using it myself. Don't worry about it. Uh, what's this? Don't tell me you're embarrassed to have me wash your underwear or something. That is not the issue here. I need the net to minimize potential damage. Are you going to lend it to me or not? And I don't wear underwear. Damage? <laughs> damage to what? I mean, yeah, I'll lend it to you. There's no need to get all snippy. All right, there you go. Sorry. Appreciate it. So, what are you washing? I'm not washing anything. All right, see you later. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Don't tell me. Uh, a male brazier? A bro? Yes, exactly. Oh, wait. Is it the bro? Yeah, they call it the bro. The bro. The bro. The bro they... Yeah. At first, it's the man's ear, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yuji's wearing the notorious male bra on a daily basis, but he's so ashamed that he washes it secretly. Is that what's going on here? I'm getting the impression that I've left Domine with a fairly serious misunderstanding. <laughs> Never happened before, <laughs> but I have the other uh, priorities that take precedence right now. Like getting I, my bras washed. I can correct her delusions at a later date by buying a bra. A bro. Well then, even among trained veterinarians, many have difficulty handling cats. Strays in particular tend to bite and claw. Need to be careful. Need a pinch of silver vine powder from my pocket. Okay. Taking a pinch. I rub a little on Just in case it's a werewolf? On my finger. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Laced with garlic. It must be something that's got like a calming effect. To... Yeah, like mint. But they yeah. hate mint, right? Yes. You're around here, aren't you? Come on out. Oh, wait, is it mint? I don't know. Something hates mint. Yeah, I can't remember what. I make a conspicuous rustling sound with a bag of powder, and before long, the cat wanders out of the brush to investigate. Mint is like to keep bugs out of certain well, plants. Maybe, maybe or that's or it. Out of like gardens and stuff, yeah. It always comes through that portal. <laughs> I bend down and hold out my hand. Most cats have a habit of sniffing at fingertips when they're made available. The black cat isn't particularly fond of me, but the scent of the powder does its work. It walks up cautiously, bringing its nose to my fingers. And in that instant, your fate was sealed! <laughs> oh god, needle was too long. No! Taking advantage of the cat's momentary carelessness, I pluck it up off the ground by the scruff of its neck and toss it into the laundry net I borrowed from Amine. Why? Why? Why wouldn't you just, like, if you've already got it scruffed, it'll just sit there and then you just give it the shot and let it go. Yeah, I don't know. Some would doubtless take exception to the strategy. Yeah, me! From the perspective of animal welfare, but I planned this out fairly carefully. Did you? <laughs> to ensure the least possible risk of lasting harm to the creature. Oh, it's dead. As for the, those of you who still have complaints, PETA, I'm watching you. <laughs> yeah. I'll listen once you've liberated every pet on Earth from their collars and converted America to the vegan diet. Until then, surely you have better things to be worried about. Yeah, but we don't eat cats. Is that like a disclaimer? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, whoever wrote this was worried that... does he, In the anime, does he do this and then turn to the camera and go, Get the fuck over it. Yeah. <laughs> meow, meow. Marera Meow. Is that a cat, Herm? Ooh, it's close. Calm yourself, animal! I mean no harm. It's a simple vaccination. Sometimes there are side effects, but rarely worse than a high fever. You won't die, trust me. Oh, okay. Oh. Meow. Meow. Herm, that's right! Go limp, you prick! Not like you can escape anyway. <laughs> Talking to his penis? <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Meow. Here goes. I take out a nylon cosmetics pouch from my pocket. Check my mascara. Na naturally, there's no makeup inside. This just happened to be ideally sized. Yeah, I don't, I don't wear makeup, I swear. <laughs> store a certain pen-shaped syringe. I just have to put on a base. Mm -hmm. I'm shiny. Uh, taking out the item in question. <coughs> <coughs> I carefully jab the needle into my furry foe's flank. <laughs> like my alliteration. It's great. <coughs> Meow. You okay over there? No, I'm choking, choking on, on my Gatorade. Gatorade. Good boy. Don't worry. It'll be over soon. Relax. Oh, my, my thirst is so quenched. Brow. <coughs> what? Are you really kidding me? <coughs> what? Hey, Yuji. What's a big idea? Animal abuse is not okay. Don't worry. I already warned him. Damn, I was completely off guard. To think I'd let you, of all people, take my back. The disgrace is unbearable. Go ahead. Kill me. I'd let her take my back. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not gonna kill you. No killing. But don't bully that guy, you understand? Apparently agitated by the arrival of its owner, the black cat violently rips open the net and leaps to freedom. Oh, God. What How many's gonna be pissed? Mm -hmm. Hiss. Hiss. Look how mad he is. I, I assume. He's on my head. I can't really see him. <laughs> Do you have a mirror? Yeah, it's in my makeup. Oh, no, I emptied it. Shit. Oh, damn it. You're what? What did you do to the poor little guy? Jeez. Nothing bad. Don't worry about it. You wrapped him up in a net and you're telling me don't worry about it? You think that's my excuse for an explanation is going to fly with me? Next time you try this, you won't get off so easy. You won't get off at all. Row, row, row. For some reason, I find myself answering Michiru's questions with the cosmetics bag and syringe held behind my back. Oops, stabbed myself. <laughs> yeah, I get the message. Sorry about that. Convey my apologies to your cat as well. I'm right here, I can hear you, bro. It's not like he's my cat or anything. All right, kitty meow. Let's get out of here. Meow. Seems I've reinforced the cat's enmity toward me. Haven't done myself that many favors in Michiru's book either, in retrospect. I might as well have told her the truth, but the words just didn't come out. No, I'm anti-vax. Maybe, I was going to say, what, that you're going to vaccinate the cat so she can keep it? Oh, yeah. She's going to hate yeah, you. Why would, yeah, he just, he panicked. Maybe I've been spending too much time around the girl. Her pseudo sundere seems like it might be rubbing off on me slightly. Oh, so I can trans... Is it like a disease? Uh-oh. Or... <laughs> well, that's all well and good, but what do I do about this net? <laughs> Abade just up in the tree writes in a notepad, mm -hmm. transfers from one to another? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> Possible sundere pandemic? Oh, Cosme sound. Hello there. You seen Amine around? Yes. Um, yes, I did. I've seen a lot of her. We bathed together. Also, um, hello is a nice word to say, mm. you fuck. I'd appreciate if you told me where she is. Uh, I'd appreciate if you mind your business. Oh, I see. Well, yes, well, she's returned to her room. I see. Guess I'll head over there. Um, Cosme san well, I know full well that this is presumptuous of me, but please let me say something. Can you teach me how to inception people? Because I was told that I had to do it, and I do not know how. <laughs> what? Cosme san whoever or whatever you choose to be, you're still Cosme san to me. In this day and age, it's hardly so strange for a man to wear a brassiere. No, it's perfectly natural. If anything, I understand it's almost stranger not to wear one, yes. You gotta contain those tubbly jubblies. <laughs> I see, so that's what this is about. I knew the misunderstanding would come back to bite me in the ass. <laughs> just know that you don't always have to match your bra to your panties. It's just if you've got a date and you assume saying, they're gonna see it. Unless it's date night. Yeah, and that at that point you gotta have the nice black ones. Black means you want someone to wear to see it. <laughs> Indeed it is. Can you provide me with your cup size and such? I gladly prepare a brassiere that will fit you perfectly, but I'll need the band and bust. Oh, do you know what those are? You got the cups. You mm -hmm. got the A cup, the B cup, all the way to the D. Those are the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, as far as I know, they don't get no bigger. Um, The band I'm referring to measures the circumference just under the... Listen, Sachi, that was a misunderstanding of Amine's. 
pure fantasy. There's no truth to what you're imagining. I understand. I'll forget all about this. But there's one thing I want you to remember, please. Whoever or whatever you are, Kazumi-san, I, Komi Nagasachi, will always respect you. I see. Nice to hear. I have to admit, though, the look of pain and determination in your eyes and the way you're chewing your lower lip leave me with slightly mixed feelings. What do your nipples look like? Who, Whoever, whatever you are, I, <clears throat> Komi Nagasachi, will always... What's your coin size? <laughs> what a joke. Forget it, Sachi. So, sweetly, I'll do that. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Amine, you in there? Oh, Yuji, uh, what's up? Need something? The net I borrowed from you ended up getting torn to shreds. Sorry about that. I'll get you an equivalent replacement later. Do you have one of those weird, like, rock and roll bras with the spikes on it or something? <laughs> yeah. No, uh, don't even worry about that, okay? It, yeah, I mean, sure, when it's one made for a guy... I guess there might be a lot of wires and stuff. Only natural for the net to get torn once in a while, right? I don't wear a bra. Huh? I, I, I didn't say you do. Sorry, I guess I made it sound like I think you're wearing a bra, Yuji, my bad. But you, but you do. Yeah. So, hey, what's your cup size? How does it feel when you're wearing it? I'm telling you, I don't wear a bra, woman. Oh, come on. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Well? Well? I grab Amine's hand and push it firmly up against my chest. What do you think? Oh, nice pecs. That's not what I'm asking. Does it feel like I'm wearing a bra? Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Well, now you look disappointed. Now it's your turn. Glad we've come to an understanding. I'll be going now. You know, it's bad for, it's bad for your back to not wear a bra. Yeah, but if you decide you want to wear one, I'll pick one out for you, okay? Do you like flowers or polka dots? For crying out loud, there are countless varieties of awkward misunderstandings in the world. But this one has really distinguished itself on the mentally draining scale. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Hiss. Like a cheap LCD screen, the truth changes color based on your perspective. Best to view it from a fixed angle. Find a few sources you can trust and stick to them. Even actions you take with the best of intentions can be easily warped through misinterpretation into strange misdeeds. Happens every day, in fact. It's like he's constantly writing emo songs. <laughs> or episodes of, like, Three's Company. I sink into the sofa <laughs> the, and heave a huge sigh. The, the thing sigh. I picture is, like... The end of Doogie Howser episodes, where it's like, boom, 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 and he's always like typing and like, yeah. This is, and and <laughs> sometimes you realize that they were the something all along. Uh, uh, yeah. Wow. Whew. The end. We made it through. A certain playwright once wrote that any sorrows temp tempered if you have a friend to share it. And there's a long-standing British proverb to the effect of wine and friends only get better with age. But is there any truth to these claims? I'm not so, so sure myself. No, I hate you more every year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say you sat on a trip lugging around a few bags. Yeah. <laughs> You'll probably... A single tear <laughs> rolls down your cheek. <laughs> Some level of anxiety about them being lost or stolen, right? In that case, wouldn't it have been more pleasant to bring nothing at all? Nothing at all. All the more so if you were carrying something truly precious. Isn't it better to lock the things you treasure away in a safe box? No. Or perhaps not to treasure anything in the first place? That's really unhealthy. No! I'm sitting in the lobby indulging in some after-dinner reading when Amine walks up with Makina in tow. I lift my eyes from the Summer of Doors and ask if they need something. This is a little awkward, actually, but... Do you know where my copy of A Summer of Doors is? I'm going nope. home tomorrow. Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> just tuck it in between the couch cushions. And I just realized I completely forgot to tell you, Yuji. Nothing wrong with using summer vacation to see your family. I don't see any reason you should apologize to me. Well, thank God she's going to be gone and I can breathe. <laughs> well, sure. But I've been making new dinner and everything, you know? I won't be around to do that for a while. It's okay, I can eat cat. <laughs> Not a problem. As long as I have beans to eat, I won't die. I'd be farting a lot, but... Okay, that might be fine with you, but it kind of worries me. You've got to eat healthy food, and you won't grow up big and strong, you know? 
but it's the magical fruit. <laughs> Are you making light of the nutritive? Nutritive? Qualities of beans, woman? Is nutritive a word? I don't know. The nu nutrisosity? Nut nutritive qualities. The nutrient qualities. Nutrition. Should be nutrient qualities, right? I don't know. I don't know. Nu nutritive. Oh, perish the thought. thought that was peer, not pear. Yeah. <laughs> all I'm saying is that eating... That should have elongated the R. All I'm saying is that eating them all the time can't be good for you. Balance in all things, right? I once knew a guy who all he ever ate was canned chili, and it was fucking terrible for him. You know how much sodium is in those <laughs> things? That dude had diarrhea 24-7. Didn't you ever learn the food pyramid in school? It's a food square now. Is it? I don't know. I think so. Oh, God. They Pierce, change things. Piercing together your meals from all the groups, right? Pretty sure they retired that as all, uh, too inflexible and restrictive a guideline. Well, there you go. They keep changing things, mm -hmm. and I'm old and don't like change, so I'm scared, and I instantly think it's terrible, like, uh, fucking the math. It's always, yeah, oh, God. It's a, it's always a pyramid to me, Yeah. not my food chart. The math thing just cracks me up, because, like, it, so many people were mad about it, and even I was like, this is confusing. But then the second I sat down and, like, actually thought about it, I was like, oh, this is how I've always done it in my head. Yeah, right. Because it's literally just being like, okay, this, like, getting things to zeros and then adding them to the multiplication of the single digits. And it's like, yeah, it's weird when you look at it on a piece of paper, there's a bunch of hills being drawn. What is that mm. even called? I keep forgetting. What's it called? Common Core. That's it. It's like, it's not, it's like the exact way that I've always done it in my head. Right. I mean, obviously, like, the 1 through 12s on multiplication, I just have memorized. Yeah. But it makes it so you can, like better write out your process really anyway that's not really the point i'm just saying that a balanced diet is important part of a healthy balanced breakfast i see <laughs> well don't worry about it i think i'll get by one way or another i'm gonna get you sneefle sneef now that i look makina's latched onto amine's sleeve her small shoulders trembling. Combined with her diminutive frame, she looks remarkably like a lost child at the moment. Except it's still old enough. <laughs> For future routes. <laughs> <laughs> How many times is she going to be compared to a little sister in her route? Oh no. What's wrong, Makina? You that broken up over Amine leaving for a while? I know you two are practically sisters, but... Oh, that ain't it. I'm lonely because I won't be able to see you, Oni-chan. Hmm? What, do you, what do you mean by that? Amine oh, gently strokes Makina's head a few <laughs> this, times. The sentence started with Amine, so I was like, oh, my <laughs> turn to read. Then gives me an exaggerated shrug of the shoulders. I can't just leave her on her own, you know. thought I'd bring her back with me. Oh, how admirable. You're an exemplary guardian. You know that? Those idiots who get caught up playing basketball and forget their children in the car could learn a thing or two from you. Are they disappearing from the route? I don't... That probably... No! Sucks. No! I'm happy they'll be with Omni, but I'm sad to leave Oni-chan, and Sachin too, and Yumi-chan. To a lesser extent. I can deal with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about Michiru? Hmm? Who's Michiru? Hold it right there! It's me, of course! Me! Ha ha ha! Prepare for trouble! <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for this exact moment! <laughs> Meow, that's right. Meow. <laughs> uh, hmm. um, well, dunno. Pass. Hey, pass on what? Is that a no comment? Uh, no comment. <laughs> Hold on! Why are you ignoring me? Well, you know, she's probably feeling lonely about not seeing you for a few weeks. That's why she's acting all tough, right? Hmm. Yeah, sure. I don't really care. He's getting next to my man. <laughs> she really doesn't sound convinced. Anyway, what are we even talking about here? The girl must have heard her name in passing and reflexively inserted herself into the conversation. I could go for some beans. <laughs> the ability to talk for that long without a clue about the topic could be called a sort of talent in its own right. True, the more impressive feat here is the total lack of comment regarding the cat perched on Michiru's head. But that one's less attri attributable, <laughs> attributable. There it is. To Michiru's talents than our well-honed ignoring skills. That was another one where I was like, that's not a word, but then you said it correctly. I was yeah. like, oh, it is a word. 
Seems Amine's going home as of tomorrow, and she's taking Makina with her. Hmm, that's so. Do you take care on the... What? what? Seriously? Uh, I told you this last week, Michiru. Just forgot to mention it to Yuji. Oh, now I didn't mention it? I didn't hear the first thing about that. Bleh. No, no, I definitely told you. You probably just weren't paying attention. That's impossible. I always pay attention. <laughs> Really? Um, maybe. Wait, you're taking Magina with you too? That's the plan, Stan. Who's Stan? That's it's a cat. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, guess you might enjoy yourself for a few days. Um, can I use your rooms? You can't ask me what for. <laughs> no. Two, Two weeks, weeks, actually. Two weeks? <laughs> That's how it is, Tiru Tiru. We call it a fortnight. Look after Oni-chan for us. So do I kinda like start flossing or Yes! Mm, I couldn't care less about Yuji. Dibs on the Nicki Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay oh. then. We've gotta go get ready. See you guys later, maybe. I don't know. Later! My boobs look bigger when I'm next to these two. <laughs> well, fine. The door might get a little lonely, but I guess them is the breaks. The rest of us will just have to live it up that much more. Let's party. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Just as the words are leaving Michiru's mouth, Sachi passes by the lobby, sweeping the passage with vigorous movements of her broom, hanging up a disco ball. Gonna be a good girl. Oh, Sachi, good timing! Coming! Yeah, wait a second. I'm coming! What? Why was that all... What? Was that in a different language, or...? I don't know. Maybe that was English. Possibly. Because they did that with something else earlier. Like, yeah. way, way earlier. Yeah. Betraying no surprise at this disturbing greeting, Sachi carefully leans her broom against the wall before trotting over to us, conscientious as always. It might have been them. Like, maybe she was teaching her English. Like, she was... Sachi was teaching Michiru English. Yeah, remember? Because like it was like, I like good fish. That's, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Michiru-sama. Is there something I can do for you? Incidentally, I believe I'm coming was a rather problematic choice of phrase on multiple levels. Huh? Why? Well, that's not important right now, you hear? Seems like I'm and Makina are heading home tomorrow, so I need you to clean out their rooms. <laughs> yes, the two of them told me as much. Okay, good. Anyway, it's gonna get a little lonely around here without them, so I was wondering if you could get us some party supplies, and maybe get some costumes, and pretend to be those two in conversation. Oh, that'd be awesome. So you just play all three of them. I see. Party supplies it is. By which you mean playful items such as plastic glasses complete with nose and mustache or perhaps those brightly colored conical hats? Right! Right! And like maybe some weed, if you know Wait, that. <laughs> Just like throwing that out there. You, if you don't, that's cool. But I mean, if you're cool, I'm cool. That's what I'm talking about. That sort of stuff that gets things going more than you'd expect, you know? Yeah, Buffalo game or whatever. Certainly. <laughs> buffalo, 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 buffalo. Well then, I'll purchase a number of Duck Soup Company Groucho Coon Model Ford Deluxe Nose Glasses. This is gonna be an epic party. <laughs> and I'll get name tags, just, too. You just, you just sit there in silence with Groucho Mark glasses on. <laughs> Woo! And going, <laughs> this is funny. Putting on name tags. He's wearing two name tags. Make sure... <laughs> it starts dancing. <laughs> Make sure you get four, okay? One for me. One for Yuji, one for you, and one for that other person. That's like, never here. I beg your pardon, Mitru Sama, but... <laughs> She's wearing it, says, my name is Sakaki, and they're like, Who? Who the fuck is that? Did you misspell your name? <laughs> what? what? The money? Don't worry, I'll pay eventually. I know things can get ugly if you're not clear about this stuff from the start. No, it's nothing so dubious as that. I bought like 120 model cars the other day. I'm filthy rich. <laughs> yeah, it don't really matter. Got a lot of money, insurance money. I took out an insurance claim on this school one time. I, I won't get into it. <laughs> as a matter of fact, I have to return in, to be returning to my relative's home tomorrow as well. Oh my god, you're going to be alone in the school with her. What? So I believe three sets of glasses will be sufficient. To her parents. What? Seriously? Why? Is that what she said? Her, well, her relatives. Yeah, her uncle. Her uncle, that's yeah. right. There are a variety of complex circumstances involved. That have to do with burning the school to the ground. To summarize in a single sentence, <laughs> because they asked me to. Uh, I guess there's nothing you can do about that. 
could just turn him down if they asked. Got it. You fucking just welcome, Matt. Oops, I fucking clicked. <laughs> uh, oops. Oh, oh my God. Everything else. What do we do about that? Can't just turn him down if they asked. Got it. Oh, in that case, the three of us will have to take it in easy at maximum intensity. I'm going home, too. She probably is. Mm -hmm. Two sets should be plenty, Sachi. I am not going to partake. You fucking wet blanket. What? What do you say all of a sudden, too? Be obviously be better to have plenty of spares, right? I don't request four sets, okay? <laughs> um, well then, how many should I prepare? Four sets! Two. Certainly. Two sets it shall be. What the fuck? <laughs> you just decided things based on some kind of pecking order? There's an order of precedence in all things, Matru Sama, and you're at the bottom of all of them. <laughs> However, I'll obtain four sets for safety's sake, provisioning only two initially. I hope that will be sufficient to assuage your fears. What? Well, true. Going off what I said, I guess that'd work too. I wanted to play Edward Ford again, so I was gonna double fist him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in that case, I'll go attend to my shopping at once. Seems like it's gonna get a good bit quieter around here. Not if I'm here! <laughs> well, yeah, but hey, it's not like we'll be all alone in this big old dorm or anything. We've got Yumiko after all, because she's always around. Yeah. Hmm, Yumiko. I don't... Why, who is that? Well, better than nothing. <laughs> why did I say that? Nothing, I guess. <laughs> Phew, there we are, all set for the trip. <laughs> I'm a ghost now. <laughs> so is the cat. Yeah. The cat's like one of those, uh, it's just, I don't know, there's multiple cartoon characters that have like some sort of thing attached to them where their expression like is the changes. Same. Doesn't yeah. it happen in uh, Magical Changey Girls that yeah. are teenagers? Magical, Sailor Moon? Magical Changey Girls that are, in, uh, no. No? Because I know there's two cats in that. I just assume yeah. like it happens a lot that the cats oh. also are matching the expression of the girls. I don't think so. Not okay, really. Maybe not. Uh, anyways, I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah, there's like a Garfield character, like from that uh, that farm one. There's a duck that wears a oh, inner tube. Oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. who I was trying to think. Of. I was like, there's someone that wears like an inanimate thing that has yeah. the same face, and it always changes its face. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 with beautiful timing, Sailor Moon enters stage left with an enormous suitcase. An overseas vacation, perhaps. Michiru watches in utter shock, her mouth flapping in a manner strongly reminiscent of a stunned trout. <laughs> <laughs> Ho, you're taking a vacation as well? Sarah Palin? <laughs> Alaska, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. As of tomorrow, hanging around here all year round gets rather stifling, don't you think? Well, yeah, when you don't talk to anybody. It's only two weeks, so I'll be back soon enough. They're all going somewhere together. They're all leaving for two weeks. This is some bullshit <laughs> plot where they're all just leaving you here. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Matsushima-san? And a gobstopper stuck in my throat. <laughs> no, nothing at all. I am departing tomorrow, so I'd better get to sleep early tonight. Mm. Michiru, my friend. Mickey, my friend. Yes! Seems like it's going to be just you and me for a while. Yes! Well, yeah, whatever! Not, not that I want to be alone with you! Fucking... You got a cat. In the first place, a teenage girl and boy alone under the same roof is just abnormal, right? In that case, should I leave as well? Huh? If you're feeling anxious, I wouldn't hesitate to lodge at my workplace for a while. Don't want to make you uncomfortable. You can't sleep in a janitor's closet. <laughs> no, no, you don't you don't have to do that. Jeez, it's fine. Just don't think I'll let you get away with any funny business. No more snuggles. No snuggles for you. Herm. Two weeks isn't too long. If you find yourself unbearably anxious, I recommend simply holding up in your room until the others return. I'm sure you'll be able to handle a little solitary confinement. Good, because my lock's broken and I can't figure it out. So if that door closes, I'm dead. <laughs> Ugh! I said it's fine! It's fine, so just uh, shut up already. Come on, cat. I mean, curse. <laughs> it is cursed. To match her d emotions. Right. 
As I'm setting out for my daily marathon the next morning, I discover a strange little scene. Michiru's skulking around in the, air, in the area in a blatantly suspicious fashion. That cat is just her stand. <laughs> she scuttles around the courtyard, keeping low and hugging the wall like a cockroach, shooting cautious glances all around her. Even for her, this is fishy behavior. This is my stand, cool for cats, because they're all named after songs or <laughs> bands or whatever. In particular, the black cat riding on her head adds a distinctively surreal flavor. I'm sincerely glad the girl was born well past the witch hunting era. I decide to observe in an effort to determine her objective. I think I'm going to set her on fire anyway. <laughs> <laughs> meow. Ugh, quiet down, kitty meow. <laughs> meow. I'm telling you, this isn't the time. You always say that. It's never the time. <laughs> What's she even doing up at this hour? I did want to observe her heading for the sea around this time, but I'm pretty sure she was looking for her cat. And at the moment, the animal in question is firmly perched on the top of her head. In other words, there's something else going on here. I'm a snake. She's s -s 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 sawing. Perhaps. The strange behavior might not be the usual Michiru. I don't mean that in a figurative sense. Maybe the other Michiru's emerged. What? Acho, acho, acho. She's, she is a witch. She's summoning something. Oh, God. The exact nature of this little ceremony is unclear to me, but she's wandering around the area restlessly making freakish little noises. The girl's never exactly normal, but this is particularly odd. Might it be the other one after all? I feel like the other one was more grounded. Mm-hmm. Michiru, my friend. Yeah! <laughs> she launches a fireball at you. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> Impressive vertical. Michiru jerks up into the air with a shriek of surprise, does a 720 and lands backwards, retreating a good meter in a single bound. I'm telling you, it's the cat. The cat is possessing it, switching bodies with her. Yeah. Because every time she's with that cat, the other one comes out. Kazumi Yuji, why are you here? Right back at you, Matsushima Michiru. What are you doing up at this hour? My name's hard to say. Well, Kazumi Yuji, you know, I, um, I wanted to feel the wind in my hair, so I came out here. <laughs> yeah. There is no wind today. Mm, just kidding. No. Okay, then I've got cram school, so bye. Oh, cram school at five in the morning? Very zealous. What's the name of this early bird educational facility, if I might ask? It's called Nanya. <laughs> the 5 a.m. seminar? You can call it AM Sim for short, or maybe 5 and R. I like 5 and R. It's pretty good. Yeah. So that's a lie, right? That's a lie. Then what's really going on here? And nothing at all. There really is nothing at all. So um, please have mercy. Please leave. Well, this certainly isn't the normal Michiru. But it doesn't feel much like the other one either. Oh, God. Don't tell me this is the arrival of Michiru 3. I beg of you, Kazumi-san. Take your leave of here at once. It's dangerous. You must be cased. Try telling me what's so dangerous. If I'm convinced, I'll do as you say. Um, well, if an earthquake hit, it'd shake. Yeah, it'd shake like crazy. I mean, if we get an 8 on the Richter scale or something, it'll shake your socks off. That applies equally anywhere. Anything else? Also, um, if a fire starts, it'd burn. All the old guys would get all fired up. Fired up old guys, as far as the eye can see, it'd be like a fucking fiery lemon party. <laughs> We're getting nowhere. I think it's time to explore alternate strategies. Let's try going straight to the point. Tell me why you're really out here and who you are. Um, I'm me, of course. What are you even talking about? Jeez, anyway, look, um, uh, Good lord, she started spewing saliva in my general direction. A patoo in your general direction. <laughs> Is this really the way young women act these days? Look, I'm a speaker. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can see me out. Meow. Yeah, eat that cat spear. <laughs> Cease this disgraceful waste of bodily fluids immediately, maggot. Even if the god of hydration forgives you, I never will. Gatoronymous. That's what I was going to say. I was trying to come up with like a Gatorade. <laughs> Ugh, but I really want you gone. Um, uh, um... 
Her strong front quickly crumbles in a cramped, desperate grimace. The girl looks about ready to burst into tears. I suppose withdrawing would be the gentlemanly thing to do at this point, or even slightly before it, honestly. All right, understood. In that case, I'll be... Don't care! Just go! No pleasantries, no life! Uh, right. All right, then. I'll see you later. I said no pleasantries, idiot! Okay, see you later. But in the end... That behavior was simply too unnatural to ignore. I temporarily return as far as the courtyard, but soon double back to observe Michiru from a distance. Always hiding in bushes. Let's get a pair of binoculars. <laughs> Beginning from a prostrate position, I advance with the standard JSDF low crawl to the vicinity of my target. I rolled in cat poop. And as if choosing a sniping point, I move to a location that affords good visibility of the scene while providing me with optical cover. Alright, this should do nicely. I got my bag of Funyuns. What are you doing on the ground? Shh. Oh, fuck! <laughs> my view of the scene is obstructed unobstructed, I mean, and I have a clear escape route secured, an ideal observation spot. I'm perfectly level with them creamy thighs. Jeez! <laughs> uh, always popping out the worst possible times, I swear. Even as she wanders around complaining about me, Michiru's petting the cat on top of her head. An abnormally dexterous woman, if nothing else. Oh, there's my boner. <laughs> Thank you for your oh, patience, Michiru-sama. <laughs> oh my god! There's paper coming out of my eyes again. This pattern is interrupted by the unexpected arrival of Sachi. Does she have some knowledge of Michiru's secret purpose? Shh, that's so loud. I do apologize. Well then, I'll speak more quietly. Regarding the item in question... No, 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 no! No, 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 no. How about that? Oh, wait a second. I need to take some deep breaths. Hazu, Hazu. Herm? The item? Seems to be a bartering session of some kind. I... I've heard that dedicated smugglers are a common phenomenon in prison. Does the same system exist in this shul? Please calm yourself, Michiru-sama. It's just marijuana. Are you alright? Pass out. Fine. Boswell. Boswell? Boswell! Huh? Boswell. Please calm yourself. You meant all's well, I believe. No, my balls are really big right now. <laughs> At the moment, you sound rather like a pink collar worker relieving sexual frustration through firing off obscene words in rapid succession in the manner of Kyoko's blog. I mean, I wouldn't know anything about it. Can I visit this place? <laughs> Who the heck is Kyoko? I do apologize. I only happen upon the side of an Insakaki so Oh. Oh, oh, in oh. Stephen Merchant Sons bookmarks, so I can't comment on Kyoko's identity. Um, okay, I guess I know whose room I'm breaking into. <laughs> Sorry for making you shop so early. Please don't concern yourself. Fortunately, I was able to prepare the goods you requested. Oh, is that a fact? Well, then, uh, show me them goods. <laughs> Shocking to think I'd catch my own classmates red-handed. For the sake of their futures, it would be best to stop this now. Fucking narc. But I won't. Nice try, punks. An oh no, it's Captain Planet! An unregistered gun deal on my beat? You got some nerve. Hand behind your head and kneel. Why would you instantly go to guns? Hi! Yes! <laughs> Wait, why did you close your eyes and open your mouth? <laughs> Just reflex. <laughs> Sachi falls to her knees on the dirt as instructed. I walk up behind her and wedge her legs apart with my foot. Oh, we're getting to this part already. Mm. Well, I gotta be a good girl, so... <laughs> All right, then. No funny business. Oh, man. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, hold on. Why are you here? Didn't you leave? Silence. You're ten years too young to be dabbling in black market weapon sales. When you're 28, we can discuss this again. Yeah, it's, you know, then it's everyone's doing it at you, that age. <laughs> you rank amateur, hurry up and kiss the dirt. Who's doing what in the back market? Of course we're not selling weapons. We're buying them. Mm -hmm, but Sachi's obediently following my instructions, isn't she? Um, doesn't she always? Now that you mention it, she does. But if guns aren't involved, that would leave a drug deal. All right, a methamphetamine test seems warranted. <laughs> Come on, Chiru, let's cook. <laughs> Stay where you are while we wait for the kits. Prepare a, for a urine test. Wait. I can't get your poop. So. <laughs> You're Sachi. You're goddamn right. <laughs> yes. 
Don't agree to that. The answer is none of the above. He's always trying to get my poop. This is just one of his ploys. Mm -hmm. We're not doing anything wrong. Her. If what she says is what she says true, Sachi. Yes. Mitru Sam and I were not conducting a legal business of any sort. Wait, is prostitution illegal? <laughs> I see. Sorry about that. You can raise your head now. Oh, already? Okay. Y yes. I was asked by Mitru Sama to purchase a certain magazine. What's more, the delivery was to be at exactly 5 a.m. on this very spot. Don't show him! It's Teen <laughs> Vogue. Ugh, oh, you don't have to tell him that, okay? Buying a magazine? Surely you can handle that much on your own, Michiru. Yeah. No? Well, yeah, that's true, but, um... It seems she found it too awkward to purchase herself. Awkward? What's awkward about it? Explain yourself! Here we are, the item she requested. Sachi! Sachi's t Ugh! I take the magazine from Sachi! The cover is a nauseatingly sparkly abomination featuring the prominent headline, Beloved Beret Beautification, an outfit straight from the Marvelous Military. What is this thing? Okay, forget the rest for now. First things first, I need to annihilate this company. Oh, you're gonna destroy it? With your bare hands? He's gonna rip a magazine in half? Oh. I, think he's, I think he's talking about the company <laughs> said the company that makes the magazine. That sounds about right. Bare knuckle justice. Alright, Sachi, let's go. We're gonna bring down that company with our fists. Yes, print media is dead. <laughs> and so will they be with our fists. <laughs> Hold on. Where do you think you're going? It's five in the friggin' morning. Hmm, uh true. A lapse in judgment on my part. Well then, what's this rag supposed to be? Mitsuru-sama asked my opinion on what sort of clothes Yuji would enjoy seeing a girl wear. I told her none, but she wouldn't have it. <laughs> I thought the matter over from many angles. My conclusion? You would like a maid outfit. That's why they were asking you about bras and like, see, yeah. see if you would mention which one you preferred. <laughs> yeah, this is all just a plot by all of them. They're getting you alone. And... Yeah. My conclusion, as you value practicality over design and apparel, Kazumi-san, a potato sack would work. The military style is doubtless <laughs> oh, to your liking. Yeah. <laughs> Sachi! <laughs> no one more! As we were aware that a magazine along those lines existed, I was sent to purchase it. And in an attempt at secrecy, we decided on this early morning delivery, even though we all know that you wake up at like 2 in the morning to jog. <laughs> yeah. But since Kazumi-san himself has stopped by, I suppose the magazine itself is no longer necessary. We might as well ask directly and settle the matter for good. Do you like blondes or pink hair? Pinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you even call that? Yeah. <laughs> Kazumi-san, do you have a preference? Do you have preferences regarding female clothing? Not particularly. I see. Mitru Sama, apparently he has no particular preferences. How very nice that you found your answer. Yeah, great. Thanks so much. That's really cool of you. <laughs> well then, I have preparation for my trip that need attending to, so please excuse me. Did you get the grudge on Mark's glasses or not? <laughs> her, her face bright red, Michiru bites her lower lip and quivers visibly. Is this doing anything for you? Maybe, a little. I don't quite understand the situation, but she also seems to be perspiring heavily. A stomach ache, perhaps? It's a blood sugar problem. All I ever eat is candy. <laughs> yeah. Michiru, my friend. <laughs> what, what is it? Oh, before you ask, my stomach's just fine. Is that a fact? <laughs> yeah. Utter silence. Michiru refuses to even make eye contact. That cat, though, is staring daggers. Mm-hmm. Michiru... Let me ask you something. No. What now? What exact exactly is a beloved beret? Uh, shut up already. How the heck am I supposed to know? It's not like I know that it's like a hat that has your name on it and a heart. Mm -hmm. It's not like I was looking at the magazine for your sake or just reference or anything. That's totally not it. For real, got it? <laughs> The Marvelous Military. Surprised is it? that wasn't preceded by the Scooby-Doo. I was going to say... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
I pick up the abandoned magazine and jot down the address of a certain rotten publisher with insufficient respect for the gravity of military affairs. Oh my god, you're one of those. A few hours thereafter, everyone who's leaving for summer vacation gathers in the courtyard outside of the dorm. Better respect the military, or else you're gonna get a poop oh. your ass. <laughs> Hoorah! Okay then, Yuji, I'll leave the rest to you. We'll bring you lots of souvenirs, Oni-chan. Oh, um, and he's gonna buy them all. <laughs> I'm good with any kind of yatsu, hashi, whatever the fuck that is, as long as it isn't cinnamon. Yeah, yeah, you're so friggin' noisy, bottle blonde. Hey, Makina, we're about to leave. Don't go starting a fight now. It's the perfect time to start a fight. <laughs> that's not so Actually, that's how we get away with it. <laughs> it's not my fault. The girl keeps harping over and over about the friggin' cinnamon. What is that face? Cinnamon's the fucking best. Come on, I'm not harping. What? Is he really that annoying? Yeah, whatever. No biggie. All right, then. We're going to get going when the going's good. Watch your back out there. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? I know it'll be lonely, but do try to be brave. Smack. Is that a kiss? Yeah. yeah. Blowing a kiss, I guess. After throwing a kiss, the girl saunters off. Makina follows in her wake. The Ramora to Amine's shark. Well then, I'm about ready to take my leave as well. Did that magazine prove useful? Punch the shark! Ugh! <laughs> yeah, super helpful, sure is. Uh, yeah, it's all good. Hurry up and enjoy your trip! Hurry up. I see. Meet you, Sama. If cleaning your room proves troublesome, please feel free to contact me. I call Manisachi to immediately rush back on a temporary basis to beautify your room, then return once more to resume my vacation. Too hurried! You don't need to do that, okay? Take it easy. Easy. Yes, certainly. I'll be on my way now. Naturally, I will return bearing gifts. I will not have gifts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting your fuckers anything. <laughs> uh, not to worry, Smurfette. I don't need any souvenirs. Excuse me. Don't be rude. Even I have the common sense to purchase a few knickknacks. Is that like a cultural thing that you have to do that or... Maybe. I mean, people do that, but it seems like it's almost like a given with this. Uh, what kind of souvenirs would you get, Yumiko? What do you mean, what kind? Perfectly normal ones. A glow-in-the-dark skeleton keychain. Or something of the sort. That's, like, really specific. Herm, sounds pretty normal. I told you so. No need to worry. I'll bring you back a nice tapestry. Well then. Boo. Michiru. Your room was pretty dreary, come to think of it. That's because I was in sad girl hours. That's so <laughs> not true. Don't go try to decorate my room with your tapestry. Probably just one of those weird triangular flag things they sell like tourist traps. <gasps> weird. Fuck you. I am not getting you a tapestry now. No, weirdly stylish. My cat's doing the fucking that sailor Whoa. moon. I love one. Heck, five would be great. Then it could be not a triangle anymore. <laughs> Put them together and they look like Pac-Man. Just for future reference, Michiru, most people refer to triangular flag things as flags. As yeah. pennants. Nobody calls them pennants. Six for Matsushima-san. All right. Well then, goodbye. Back in Mega Hexagon. <laughs> Good for you, uh, Space Lee Sprocket's got a kind side, doesn't she? Seems like she's going to buy you one more than requested. I don't know, it's the, 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 uh, the from Jetsons. Oh. Ugh. I really shouldn't have just pointed out the first thing that came to mind. All right. Might as well head back to the dorm. We'll be alone for a while, but there's no reason that has to disrupt our normal route. route. Hmm. Hmm. When I turn my gaze on Michiru, I discover that her cheeks have flushed an alarming shade of red. Running a temperature, perhaps? What's wrong? Again, with the sudden fevers, you should really consider seeing a doctor. No, I'm fine. Yeah, you're right. Business as usual, but best regards. No pleasantries. Fine, I'm not turned on right now. Fine? Really? You're acting pretty strangely, considering. I'm not strange! Okay, then I'll be heading back to my room now. Bye-bye! <laughs> With those words, Michiru clomped off into the dorm in a repeat of her imitation goose-stepping march. 
At the time, I thought it was a fairly casual conversation, but that was a misjudgment on my part. Oh my god, how close are we to the end of an episode? I have to pee so bad it hurts. Okay. Are we at the end? No. God damn it. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll just I'll hold it. It's fine. It hurts. We can break. Okay, just real quick. Okay. I was like, <laughs> I can make it. I'll make it. But I can't <laughs> yeah. make it. I can't do it. <laughs> nope. Okay, I'm back. Oh, okay. Oh, that was a shitload of piss. Whoa, all right. <laughs> Better than a piss load of shit. That's true. I don't know what that would be. I feel like a piss load wouldn't be that much. That's except true. for that one that I just <laughs> made. That was a misjudgment. I already read that. Okay, I couldn't remember. Oh, that. end of scene. No. Michiru spent the rest of the day holed up in her room. Sad yeah. girl hours, round two. <laughs> that wasn't too alarming, but the exact thing happened the next day. Struck me as odd. Still, I figured the girl had her reasons. In the end... Michiru didn't even show her face until a little afternoon on the third day. Sorry, I had to poop. You only poop once every three days? That's not healthy. <laughs> All I eat is candy. Mm. I am lounging around reading in a young adult novel by the name of Bun Bun Don Kino. Is that like the kitty version of Don Quixote? I think so. When I spot Michiru out of the corner of my eye, she's hovering awkwardly at the edge of the lobby. She's always in that pose. It's like she's in her, like, SNES RPG battle pose. <laughs> Character select. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, um. My font got weird for a second. I clogged the toilet. Her voice is too quiet for an attempt at getting my attention. Perhaps I should just ignore her. Um, um, uh, why, um, okay. It's because I like you, okay? <laughs> then again, she's finally left her room for the first time in days, so I suppose basic social equi etiquette would dictate approaching her on my own initiative. You dare approach me? So what's up? You got a poop? What's wrong, Michiru? Need something? No! <laughs> my greeting was some, uh, somewhat abrupt, but Michiru responds with an instant shriek of rejection. Pretty impressive reflexes. I don't know, that's... Usually the reaction girls have to me. <laughs> I see. In that case, I'll return to my reading. Oh, is that abnormal? <laughs> uh, no, that's not it. Um, <sighs> if she's got something to say, why not just spit it out? She's really, known to say say exactly what she wants. I really like when she spits on me. <laughs> it's never easy with this girl. Well, um... <sighs> yeah. yeah, what he said. After three full days, shut up in her room. This is all she has to say. What's her deal, anyway? Not that I really care or anything, Baka. So as long as she doesn't interrupt my reading. Her hair must smell, smell terrible. <laughs> Cat's been sitting up there for three days. I find the page where I left off and return to the world of fiction. Take oh. me away. Bun bun. But soon enough, I'm emphatically rejected, ejected from the pleasant refuge. Specifically, she slaps the book out of my hands. I could have dodged, but decide to best it best to allow the girl to do as she pleases. Yeah, totally. I totally could have dodged that. I would, if I wanted to, I would uh -huh. have been like, able to kick your ass. If I wasn't so invested in the world of Bun Bun. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're lucky. Excuse me, what on earth are you thinking? At the moment, I'm thinking about picking up the book that just fell to the floor. Oh, please. That's obviously not what I'm talking about. What was that attitude just now? Seriously, are you an idiot or just completely full of yourself? Yeah, Who died one. and made you emperor? The emperor. <laughs> Usually the emperor. <laughs> Maybe you've discovered your inner penguin, planning to wander off across the Antarctic ice to find yourself a mate. Better find yourself a fucking pebble. <laughs> oh man, I could play P Club Penguin this whole time. Oh sweet. Rip. You finally show yourself. I'd really like to know who you are this time. How many times do I have to say this before you're satisfied? I'm me. Mind if I sit there? In my lap? Is, is this seat taken? That's nah, my dick. <laughs> Michiru points next to where I'm sitting, then roughly drops down before I can say a word in response. Her, you don't like that? Then how about this, too? Attitude reminds me of a combined forces assault. Sorry, I have to keep my hand like this. The top three buttons of my blouse are missing. Where'd the cat go? In any case, I hate it. In any case, Yuji Kun, you really don't understand the female heart, do you? This sounds like it's going to be a lengthy herm <laughs> <laughs> discussion. Maybe I should make some coffee first. Can I at least get to the end of the chapter? It's really weird to stop reading in the middle and then try to, like, I'd have to reread the entire chapter. Right. Uh... Not needed. I've got some news for you. 
The girl practiced in her room dozens of times so she could call out to you just now. And in the end, she was too tense to say a word. Do you understand why? Insufficient effort on her part, clearly. Guess she's she better practice more. Wrong. Totally wrong. Don't be ridiculous. She got unbelievably nervous. Her heart started racing, and her mouth wouldn't move. Well, I feel nervous at this point. We're hardly strangers. We already cleared up the unpleasantness between us. Surely there's nothing to feel awkward about. Maybe that's how it is for you, but the same doesn't apply to her. This is exactly why I'm saying you don't have the first clue about the workings of the female heart. Yeah, I haven't read that book yet. I really don't think that's true. Bun Bun hasn't taught me about it yet. <laughs> no matter how I put it, it seems you're incapable of understanding. Let's try getting right to the point instead. I'll give it to you in one shot. So listen very carefully with your stupid boy brain, all right? Fine, spare me the attitude and just say it already. Oh, look who's fucking talking. Yeah, I'm afraid you're not. Give All right. you attitude and give We're it right back. Episode. So before we talk to... Before she has this long... Before we talk to Michi 2 about the inner, inner workings of a female heart. Yeah. I've got a book you need to read. Mm-hmm. It's called uh, fucking Fault in Our Stars or I don't know, some fucking sappy bullshit. <laughs> it's called New Moon. Twilight. Twilight. Mm -hmm.